Hey, what's up, guys? And in this video, I'm trying to talk about like where I've been, like my state of how I feel about the game, just you know, like everything like that, all that, and my plans. So, first and foremost, am I quitting? Uh, no, I'm not quitting the game. Okay, I still play this game. You know, like whenever I need to do AQ or W, but that's pretty much it. I really have nothing to do in this game. Everything is completed. Okay, no more content. Seven point is coming around the corner. Um, I didn't get to do the beta, so that was pretty sad. Um, but I'm gonna be doing an itemless with no quake or ghost because I just don't really want to use them anymore. It's just too much, too much. And um, basically, I have learned about myself. I, I like like building towards a goal. It gives me something to do. So to make me more excited about playing the game, I'm giving myself a goal. Give me something to build towards at least, not really a goal. Um, I'm going to be saving all of my crystals from today, March 31st, all the way to my 19th birthday, November 17th. So, that's a lot of munch. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. That's literally seven and a half months of just saving crystals. So, it'll give me something to build towards, because last time I did a big crystal opening, it was very nice. I got five star, uh, some of the memorable things i got five star nick fury he was pretty account changing i got six star warlock and six star guilds in 2099 and a whole bunch of other shit so that was pretty fun but this one's gonna be a lot bigger i also formed a lot of tier 5 cc from these fragment crystals um as you can see we got a lot of these so basically we're gonna be saving again everything like when I say everything, you're gonna have like 240 something, 50, I don't know exactly. What did I say? Seven months? So, seven months seven. so yeah, I'll have like 210 crystals, 220, something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, daily crystals. Okay, can this thing move? So, you know, out of 200 of these, I'm really hoping to get some fat chunks of six star shards. We also are gonna get a lot of five stars from this, I just realized. Um, so we're going to open like 200 of those, we're going to open all the Cavalier Objective Crystals, or maybe we'll open these, I don't know, we'll see. These will give us more shards, definitely, but I think this might, oh, why does that keep opening? This might overflow um, for like ISO and other shit, but we'll see, whatever. We're going to save those for fun. Um, what else are we going to save? We're going to save up all five star and six star shards, obviously. Um... I have no idea how many I'm going to get. If I had to guess, I'll probably get at least 15 to 20 six-star shards. Or, I mean, six-star crystals. With maybe, like, a six-star nexus or something from, like, story mode. Whatever the new content gets released in the next seven months. We'll see. I'll have at least... How much did I have last time? I had, like, 40 last time. Right? I'll have at least, like... 70 to 100 depending on what the events are and how much I grind and uh, just shit like that we'll see and if I get lazy and open them before for like ISO which is definitely a possibility but five stars aren't that big of a deal anymore so we're gonna have all of that we're also gonna have like how many we're we gonna have I don't know I don't know exactly the amount we're gonna have a chunk like I guess uh, if it's every eight days and I have like, and I have like two hundred thirty days, you know I'll have like at least thirty of these twenty five thirty something like that. Um, so I'll have like I don't know, thirty uh, forty something around there. Well, well, I don't know exactly yet because I haven't done the exact math. Because AQ is like every eight days is a full cycle. <sighs> so I have like thirty of these and then I'll also have like 30 I'll have the same amount of these as I do 10% crystals actually I might have more actually we'll see but I'll have a lot of tier 5 crystals to open like pretty much I'm estimating I'll have enough of those by the time the opening comes around to pretty much get at least one or two of every single class so I don't know if that's the best idea considering I'm almost overflowing on science um I'm not over I'm not almost there but I'm like almost at two which is maxed out and I have like no science character um but yeah we'll, we'll see I, I'm, I'm probably gonna form one or two of every class so that's gonna be interesting 
And yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of shit basically to open. Unless they're gonna have, uh, what does that have? I'm gonna have seven more of these, right? Or like really eight more of these. I'll have eight tier five Nexus ones. That's nice. Um, should I save these? Oh, I'll save these. I'll have 80. Probably have more than 80 from like 7.2 and shit, but I'll have a lot of six stones, six star ones. Uh, overall, we'll just have a lot of shit to open. Hopefully, let, let me just see. What was what what 7.1's opening? We'll have at least a six star Nexus. There's no way we won't. We'll have big chunks of tier 5 CC crystals to open. We'll definitely have more six stones to open. We'll have rank of gems, actually. Yeah, I probably will just open that. Um before but yeah well we'll basically have a lot of shit to open let's just put it that way um if i had to guess what the reward increase from 6.1 6.2 is maybe six star awakening gem crystal will be in there if we get a six star awakening gem crystal um i'm definitely just not gonna wait to open that just because if i get a six star awakening gem crystal for science you know we got void red hulk someone i don't know probably not red hulk but probably void Skill, I could awaken my hit monkey. He could be a prestige option. Or actually, I'd probably wait for Nick Fury, actually. I'd definitely wait for Nick Fury. Mutant would be really good. I could awaken a Archangel. So sexy. Take him to rank 3. He's at rank 2. Cosmic. Um, Cosmic uh, it wouldn't be the best class, honestly. But I'd, I'd probably save it for a Silver Surfer for prestige. Tech, we got three good options. Guillotine, Warlock, Punisher 2099. Probably would go Warlock, though, for prestige. Um, cause he's the best for prestige. Mystic, ooh, um, we don't really need Mystic, honestly. There's like four of the six classes are actually really good uses. Uh, we really just don't want to see Cosmic or Mystic. But like, skill, we'll have Nick Fury or Falcon, uh, which would be really nice. And then the other three classes I have an option for right away. So if we get a six Dragon gem, probably not gonna be saved for the opening. Um, so yeah, that's about it, but... Another thing I wanted to talk about in this opening was, you know, I haven't been playing M2C as much, so I was wondering if you guys on the channel, let me know in the comments, like, right now, as you're watching this, let me know if you guys would want to see me play something like Clash Royale, Clash of Clans. I've been playing Clash of Clans recently, just to get back into it, because I was bored, because it's something to kill time. This game's pretty good at killing time, I'll tell you that for sure. Um, oh, I was attacked, that's so tragic. Alright, cool. This guy's level 9 balloons. That's fun. Um, yeah, so I've been playing this recently. I don't know if there's that much to upload for Galactic Clans, but definitely um, Clash Royale. Clash Royale is a fun game that you can play and get a lot of content on, unlike Clash of Clans, or you can do like two raids a day. But definitely something, if you guys want to see, let me know. Because so I would definitely like to play Clash Royale. I like this game. I've been playing it a lot with my friends. This is my deck, in case you're curious. It's a pack and hog cycle deck, all that. So, yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you guys are excited for the opening also, because it's going to be a fat opening. Let's just say that. Um, yeah, and what are the things, one other important thing. I'm, I think I already said this, but I'm going to be doing all of X7. Two, three, and four item lists. Plus... I did 7.1 item list, but it really wasn't that hard. 7.2 through 4, I'm adding the extra challenge of no ghost and no um, quake. Because honestly, no one likes seeing the gameplay. I've seen it a million times. It's boring, it's easy, it's definitely the easy way out. Item list is not that hard with these two characters. So it's going to make it a lot harder. Um, yeah, I'm doing no quick and no ghost. So I'm waiting for 7.2 to come out. But yeah, I'm just feeling burnt out from the game. I have like nothing to do. So I'm just giving myself something to work towards, I guess. A new goal. And get as many crystals as physically possible for the opening. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. And let me know also if you want to see, like, Clash Royale and Clash of Clans stuff. Because, you know, mobile games. You guys are mobile gamers, so you might play them too. And it's fun. Also, it's just something other than M2C every day. So, I don't know. Just let me know. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Definitely write shit in the comments. Answer the questions. Whatever I said in the video. And, um, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace.